Uh, so, you know what? We have a doctor now. I'll tell you what, this will be a nice surprise for you. Um, a songwriter friend of mine's in the audience, and uh, he has been so gracious to uh, get up and uh, let me just take a, a quick breath here. Little uh, gentleman named Dickie Kreiser. He's uh, got a trucking company up in Bernie. He's an old running uh, mate of mine, and let's make him welcome. Let him uh, come up here and play a song. Yeah. I figured I'd put him early enough in the set. That way, if you think he was that good, you would have time to forget about him, and then I can go ahead and finish the set. You see. <laughs> but anyway, let's give him a hand, Mr. Dickie Kaiser. And they almost have a heart attack, they always call me up. I run up there. Yeah, I've got a couple of songs. Hang on, just a little shorter than that. Thank you very much. All right, Dick, you make us proud, buddy. This is an unexpected treat. This knocked the price up to 11 bucks. I just want you to know. I thought you wanted me to do one we wrote. <laughs> Ow. Ow. You do what you can. Dick is a great singer and songwriter. And he was smart. He left Nashville and moved back to Texas. <laughs> I moved to Nashville in 1994. And I went up there knowing that it doesn't happen overnight. So I went up there and prepared myself for years of rejection. And uh, I got a little lucky. I got a writing deal with Curve in six months. And, uh, I got a cut on Clay Walker shortly after that. Then I started writing with a guy that was a nanny for my lawyer. Every time I called him, the nanny would get on the phone, will you write with me? Yeah. That's Chris Cagle. So I, uh, I had a song on his first album that I wrote with Chris and Randy Boudreaux by the name of, the song was called Who Needs a Whiskey. But I ran into Ash Underwood and of all the writers I'd ever met in Nashville, he was one of them. <laughs> nice, Dickie. This guy, had his, you can't write with him hardly because he's so funny, he keeps you laughing all the time, you can't think. But I took him an idea, our first writing session, and uh, we ended up, I think we, we probably finished this in an hour, maybe. And... Uh, I have 40 and 50 hour songs, trust me. Okay, so an hour is like really quick. <clears throat> and he caught me right after I ate, so. You know, I just wanted you to play a song. We didn't, we, we didn't want the whole life story, you know. Well, just thought, let me... <laughs> hey, this is like the bluebird. I can talk, okay? <laughs> Shining, when you walk by, you hear grown men sighing. I think Mother Nature ought to take a bow. Turning heads everywhere we go, not even trying, she steals the show. Not ashamed to say, she makes me proud. Catch your 
staring at the look she's sending. Says, I love you, I want you. Honey, let's leave. Oh, oh, but it's not the way she looks that tugs at this boy's heart. Any fool can see that she's a walking work of art. It's the way she looks at me That's not what makes me love her Brings me to my knees It's not the way she looks, oh no It's the way she looks at me right. yeah. Thank you